there, my name is John Gibbons. I've um, been working with Glass for about 13 years, and I got a call from a client in May of 2016. We kept talking about building a chandelier. She saw one I made on my website that was uh, installed in San Diego, and so we went back and forth with several drawings and decided on, uh, on something we both liked. I'd never made anything like it exactly, so uh, I was pushing my limits a little bit. The big piece of glass in the center, the big bowl, that was about the biggest piece of glass I'd ever made. And I, I got the form by putting it over a walk, a, a kitchen walk. And then the long green spears, or seaweed pieces, um, it's kind of like pulling marini, which is a type of glass cane. Uh, but then I put it over a mold, which was new to me as well. Everything came out pretty good. The, the color of the spears I call tide pool green. It's a really earthy green color. The mold that the, that the uh, bowl goes into to get the pattern is called a pineapple mold. And so it gives this really cool kind of uh, spiraling pattern. And the colors are very earthy as well. It was a real challenge to, uh, to not just come up with something they liked, but something that was feasible for me to make. The sheer size of this bowl was the biggest thing I'd done, and the technique of putting it over the walk I'd never done either, so everything was kind of new. Surprisingly, it came off pretty smoothly. And then pulling the spears, definitely a few cracked uh, the, at first, but eventually we figured it out. When they came out of the oven, I epoxied a stainless steel fixture to the top of the spear so that it could hang up into the fixture. And the stainless steel, I feel, is very uh, pleasing and complimentary of all the colors. It was really exciting to work with designers and architects and kind of go back and forth with, the, with designs. And I, I really want to get into that more. And, explore new designs, larger designs, installation types of work, chandeliers, wall pieces. Um, I was studying architecture before I got into glass, so a lot of my larger works kind of lend themselves to architectural installations. So when I finished the chandelier and I packed it up, drove it down to Newport Beach, I had the architect and the contractor help me install it and it just looked beautiful when it was all said and done and felt really satisfying just to see it in their home finish.